Grand Rising, my friends. Welcome back. Missed you, the most beautiful subscribers in the Milky Way and several known galaxies in our immediate vicinity, relatively speaking, in space. When you say immediate, you know, light years and such. Uh, if you're new, pull up a chair, join us. It's probably a billion things that I used to say that I forget now, but hey, let's look at the markets. Markets have been doing well, but we're going to talk about how we are have been consolidating for at least two weeks now, two to three weeks, and what that may entail going forward for the end of the year. Bitcoin is at $62,992. Ethereum at $4,607. Binance has been doing really well the past several days. $648. Solana, Solana super well. We've started, I think this, Solana was at like 30 some bucks several months ago. Now it's at $250. Cardano has been kind of going slow for a little bit. The smart contracts have still been coiling on the chain. They have yet to kind of really get deep in their decentralized finance. To be quite honest, I've been going down deep down the rabbit hole of decentralized finance recently. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And over the next several days, we'll be doing some different things. Um, XRP, $1.22. Polkadot has moved up. I mean, you know, it's been crazy. Probably since I last saw you. Polkadot now in the top 10. $52 pushing. You know, Uniswap's been pushed out by Avalanche, Terra, Shiba. Dogecoin at $0.26. Cents, Shiba at four zeros fifty six. Terra at $50.00. Avalanche at 86 bucks. Avalanche was doing really well. It's been going gangbusters this week. Probably the best of the top 20, um, it seems here. Moving. Stock market really well for the most part for um, the Dow has still been doing really well going into the end of the year. We see Tesla's holding strong in the 1200s. <clears throat> Boeing did well on um, Friday, as well as IBM. I, you know, uh, Pfizer and Merck both now have pills that are going to, or therapeutics that can treat COVID. And uh, so that kind of hurt a lot of the companies that were still working on or, and planning to come out with vaccines for it in terms of their finances. Ethereum, now very close to $3 billion, especially with the price, but close to 800000 Ethereum burn and this is going to push the price of Ethereum quite high in the future. So let's just jump to the stories and then we'll come back into a little bit about some of the things that I've been looking at, researching, and some ideas for you to look at as well before I give 100% of any, hey, do this or think that. But here with, let me just double, I'll double check it when we get to that point. You know, we're about that positivity here on this channel. And we thank you for anybody who's sitting, pay attention through all of this. And if it's, you know, nobody told me they think I should start and go a different way. We're going to go to the stories and then at the end just uh, vibe a little bit. But so we'll, we'll see how it goes. There's not, there's no hard and fast rules. Some things I'm going to be doing um, on this channel is going to be, going to be look quite different. Some things I'm thinking about doing um, coming up. So, you know, we'll still go have fun with it. That's that, that main day. Of course, there's none of this is financial advice or medical advice or advice in any type of fashion. This is all entertainment. This is me playing a character, being a character, being authentic, playing authentic, <laughs> just having fun. So we hear about that positivity, positivity being reach out, look deep inside and see if there's someone who means that much to you that you want to write something about them on the internet that will last through all time unless you decide to go back there and edit and delete it at some point or the EMPs go off and knock out all of our systems but I think there still be probably uh, some servers that keep uh, copies of all this stuff you know just the way people are and how um, paranoid individuals are I imagine beside the point you write something down there about them in the comment section write something about them in the comment section then share this video with them and say, hey, look, look what I wrote about you. Russian hackers launch a massive ongoing wave of cyber attacks, the U.S. report says. So even after President Biden met with Putin, 
it still continues. Russia launched another massive cyber attacking operation, cyber attacking operation, okay, against the U.S. even after Biden confronted Putin about previous attacks reported to the New York Times. According, this is about two weeks old. A lot of these stories I still had in the, in the, in the can. I'm still going to go through the, the order I had everything in. It is what it is. Some super important pop up. I'll throw it in the mix, but for the most part, I already got a lot of this stuff in the can. I just was uh, going down this rabbit, deep rabbit hole where I was at with Decentralized, but also um, working on some school projects and for little boys and it required programming, learning how to program and electronics and so putting in work. Microsoft said the hackers targeted providers of cloud software services of which they are a prominent example. It could represent a renewed attempt by Russia to gain access to sensitive information held by government agencies, think tanks, and private corporations. So Microsoft refers to the group of hackers as Nobil, Nobil, Nobilum, Nobilum, but they are more widely known as Cozy Bear, which Dutch intelligence services identified as a branch of Russia's SVR, foreign intelligence services. And we may have talked about Cozy Bear and there was the other one they have. It was like an aggressive, angry bear. Bear is a common word they use for Russian um, agents, as you can imagine. And I think, oh, Fancy Bear, I think, is one that they thought, you know, kind of was trying to be more elegant in it. So the theory basically is that the SVR, which is an equivalent of, say, United States DIA, Defense Intelligence Services, which is the military's intelligent operations, as opposed to more civilian kind, like CIA is civilian and the Russians FSB. I'm not 100 percent if they have kind of the, is as equivocal, if they have the kind of distinctions. I believe ours bl blend in more than we say. But who am I to say? Anyway, the SVR probably has different groups that you know, they send out to say, see what you can get done. And they probably are, you know, thinking of it in the movies like a bond have um, a lot of uh, deniable plausibility about what these individuals are doing, which, of course, can lead to a lot of excess and all types of um, breaches of protocol that would necessarily occur if you had a little bit more regimented control. But you get results that you wouldn't get with regimented control. So it's a uh, two way street in that regard so but so it appears that they we are still under a, a, a lot of attacks by and as we just be expected and we need to really hit back in a way to make this stop so personally you ask me we, we keep all talking well we're gonna make us no we need to shut everybody up now i know and we i don't know if i pulled that story up and we may get to it where there are some Iranian gas stations was shut down for a while, which, you know, all of this is, is, is coordinated. It's not, none of this is done just happenstance. I mean, it's just, oh, oh, all the gas stations went down? No, it's, at this level of the game, it was planned. So, there, you know, you don't want to get into that because that can easily escalate into a hot war. A cyber war can easily escalate into a fire and missiles and whatever else we got at you war. But we can't allow people to just think they can get, you know, just smack us around just because we, you know, so much bigger and, they're, and you know, relatively smaller. No, these little things like this, we got to make examples out of individuals. New material paves the way for more powerful and safer batteries. In pursuit of batteries that deliver more power and operate more safely, researchers are working to replace the liquids commonly used in today's lithium ion batteries with solid materials, solid state batteries. You may have heard this conversation. I think QuantumScape is a new company that um, is working on it. It's a lot of companies all over the world trying to work on solid state batteries because the problem is that you get better energy density, which is how much energy per space. So being able to recharge over time, uh, and keep the energy consistency inside the material. These are things that we think will be improved with solid state batteries, as well as uh, should be less flammable. Because right now with these uh, batteries with these semi-solid states, they could be very flammable. I think we talked about this here. Now our research team 
And I'm just going to jump back in like I have any idea where I was at. So they're thinking out a new material for use in solid state batteries that's derived from an unlikely source, trees. Trees. Cellulose. In research published in a journal Nature, the team demonstrates a solid ion conductor that combines copper with cellulose nanofibrils. Polymer tubes. So polymer, very tiny tubes derived from wood, the paper thin material has an ion conductivity that is 10 to 100 times better than other polymer ion conductors. So using these paper thin cellulose wafers made out of wood, basically, you know, which paper is made out of, they're able to find these either using as a solid battery electrolyte or as an ion conducting binder for the cathode of an all solid state battery. So by incorporating copper one dimensional cellulose nanofiber, so very down almost like to the atom level, one dimensional, yeah, nanofibrils, we demonstrate that normally I, uh, the, that the normally Ion insulating cellulose offers a speedier lithium ion transport within the polymer chains. So batteries, which are widely used in uh, today's, have electrolytes made from lithium salt dissolved in a liquid organic solvent. So like I said, kind of the semi-solid state, but, you know, liquidy, sludgely, sludgely. The electron job is to conduct ions between the cathode and the anode. So the different ends, one in the cathode and the anode has a sludge between it's supposed to conduct. The state, so now they use these wafer then with gold embedded, right? If I remember correctly. To copper, I'm sorry, copper, even cheaper. Copper embedded, uh, solid um, batteries, what I think they see even with a really thick um, cathode. Solid state. I think they said even that they that they make the cat yeah cathode and we can act as a cathode binder for a solid state battery, but it's really thick. And then um, with those, you know, probably like a bunch of them though, even though they're super thin, a bunch of them, but more solid state, they're able to transmit lithium ions faster and easier, with more efficiency. So these and it's a lot of material research to design of what materials are going to transport lithium ions or any ions that can work in a way that uh, can and, um, generate the charge that we're going to need to electrify our future. And so a lot of research being done. You'd like to see people thinking outside the box like this as well. Moving on to the world's crypto. We talked about back, I'm sure, a couple of times at this point, MasterCard to integrate crypto payments for customers through new blockbuster alliance with back. And this is fairly old at this point. Like I said, everything. Sorry. It is what it is. MasterCard has revealed that thousands of U.S. United States bank, United States based banks, fintech firms and merchants working within its payment networks will now be able to offer crypto related services for its clients after signing a new deal with crypto asset company back B.A.K.K.T., which is owned by Dow Jones, which started trading for like eight bucks. I think we first talked about it over a month ago and now back is at. Just curious. 32 bucks. All right. Back will be up in the 40s sometimes, but it's at 32 now. So, and I still think I got to look at its uh, market cap and make some decisions where it's going to go from there. But more than likely, it's going to continue to grow in their time. In addition, back which started trading under a ticker symbol BKKT on the New York Stock Exchange with as much attention of younger customers. So, MasterCard is joined with back, so you can see that you know Visa is still number one, but MasterCard is number two in terms of the uh, for perspective. MasterCard is the world's second largest credit company, behind only Visa. Presently working with over twenty thousand financial institutions across the globe and boasts a user base of approximately two point eight billion. Not small potatoes by any stretch of the imagination. So as I was saying earlier. Bitcoin has been in a bit of a consolidation period for the past several weeks, a couple of weeks, several weeks now, two to three weeks. 
and it's going to be a breakout. Where do you think it's going to go? Down to 20K or down or up to 100K? I think it's going to go up. Now, what do I base that off of? Kind of, you know, you have people arguing and saying when people start to go crazy for all the various mean dog coins, that's a sign of the market's going to fall. You will also see it as that that means that the interest in the cryptocurrency market is starting new. When you start to see the individuals who are not normally involved in this are excited and talking to you about it, it then you know, hey, it's going to it, that energy starts to build up again. The energy doesn't it's not built up to seem like it's going to be a collapse of price now. Now, granted, there are wells that do control the price of Bitcoin. I said it. Most people know that in this space. So as long as I stay out the way, it appears that going into the end of the year is going to be a price shift. We'll see. Bitcoin is about to see another major break, another major breakout after surpassing its previous all time highs. But will the price move to the upside or the downside? So all these individuals were talking who sees big, this guy or female. I don't know if this is all, these are people or not. I don't know. Um, who sees the Bitcoin price headed towards 100,000 said that in the short term, the price movement has been too strong to warrant a major correction. I agree. What I see is there's a final parabola brewing. I think it looks like we're going to run to 100K. Some people say higher, 288, 300, we'll see. But then they think it'll be a crypto winner next year. Could it, is this, are we going to break the four year cycle with the halfings now that the institutional money is flowing in? Or will it be an attenuated, meaning a lessened crypto winner as opposed to the last one we had post 2017 up till probably like almost close to the halving of last year? Especially when you think of what happened um, uh, with all the markets, right? As um, the the world responded to the lockdowns and how that was going to impact the everything from everything from every financial to living or not, everything dropped last March. So, yeah. Play it the way you want. I, I'm I'm still fairly bullish on the market. I tend to be bullish over the long term, and um, seems like things have been playing out. I, I expected when I got into this market several years ago that it wouldn't be the immediate payoffs. I you know I'm gonna say predicted, but thought that it'd be around now. I thought like 2022 ish um, things would be crazy, and um, got there a little bit before my calculations. And I, you know my calculations weren't based off anything you know hard with technical analysis or anything it's just more of um social analysis and understanding of how the human brain work and consciousness and game theory so with the new corrections hey i, I see it be even crazier speaking of which i'm gonna just talk briefly about this now until i'll do a little bit a little bit a little bit more research before i can be 100 percent about hey you need to be doing this you need to be doing this Clima Dow. What is this? Drive climate, drive climate action and earn rewards with the carbon based algorithmic digital currency. So the easiest way I can try to explain it to you is that they buy with Clima is a Dow, a decentralized autonomous organization that buys carbon credits off the general market and sinks it forever. And the way I was explaining it to my boy earlier was. I'll read this in a second. Well, let's read it and I'll try to explain for it. Climate Dow goal is to accelerate the price appreciation of carbon assets. A high price for carbon forces companies and economies to adapt more quickly to the realities of climate change and make low carbon technologies and carbon removal projects more profitable. And you know, we just, and this is some new news, we just passed, well, the United States House has passed this big infrastructure package, which has climate incentives as a huge part of it. Now it has to pass the Senate, and as I was telling everybody, the House, it would have been easy to pass. They want to pass more money. It's this, this lessened one that they've passed. So we'll see if how the senators we have to cow cow to in the, on the Democratic side are going to agree to the plan or not, but other longer story 
Through the climate token, we will maximize value creation for our community and create a virtuous cycle of growth. Eventually, the climate token, each backed by real verified carbon assets, will function as a truly sustainable asset in media of exchange with real planetary value. Black hole of carbon. Climate treasury. The treasury is the center of the black hole. Every climate token is backed by one ton of verified tokenized carbon reduction or removal. These can be remain locked in the treasury indefinitely or sold to balance the price of climate. Carbon credits. Clima is a vacuum for carbon. The treasury only accepts certified third party verified emission reductions from reputable carbon markets, sometimes called carbon offsets or carbon credits. Each is tokenized in a transparent and traceable way to prevent double spending or double offsetting. These credits are sucked off the market and absorbed into the system through a bonding mechanism. What is bonding? Bonding is how carbon enters the treasury and new climate is created. Anyone can buy climate at a discount by bonding carbon units and liquidity provider shares. That's what LP stands for, liquidity provider shares over a set vesting period. Staking. Carbon comes. What is it? Things are moving like every time I go. Okay. Just happened out the corner of my eye. I'm just focused on reading the things. Carbon comes in, value comes out. Holders of Clima can earn compounding interest on their Clima by staking. Staking encourages long-term holding of Clima and allow participants to benefit from the rising price of carbon. As the protocol generates a profit through bond sales, this profit is allocated to everyone who has staked Clima. And what does that mean is that you should be getting paid so now they have 8,900,000 uh, tons of carbon in the treasury to back the climate, which now is at $2,179 in USDC prices, or United States dollar prices. You're getting paid 35,255% APR on your money, on your climate that you stake. So you come here to, cli uh, it's climate Dow Finance. Clima, D -A -O dot finance, and you, you know, this is the site, and then you go here into the app, and you have a MetaMask wallet set up, and on your MetaMask wallet, uh, you have to have the Polygon mainnet. So usually you'll start off here, you can see a little bit of my, uh, not my, it's actually uh, a organization, part of the uh, the family this is uh just started this i should have showed the creation of it but i'm gonna do that uh, do a video that kind of help people who don't, who don't know how to have a metamask wallet but anyway you'll be here on ethereum and i was showing uh one of my guys how to set it up and, and set it up with sheeb put um the sheep how you uh, connect the sheep token to it and here's i'm going to give you all a little bit of alpha Go here to coin gecko it seems to work pretty well and uh, you can look up tokens and this token z token here it was um 50 some cents and probably a lot, a lot, it's been up like a, a almost over 100 percent in the past week <clears throat> so it probably was even less you go back um let's go 14 days so you can see sheev back at the end um I'm sorry, not Z token. Just over two weeks ago, it was about seven cents. It's went up 10 times since then because this is the token that's going to control the time aspect on the satellite advertising. Satellite advertising. The satellites that have video screens for advertising. I couldn't think of a way to say it, it makes sense. Satellite advertising makes sense. The, with the video screen advertising in space. So I am going to add this to my MetaMask. Add token there. So when I go here to my MetaMask, I now have Z. So let's say I was showing him to do this with Sheeb earlier. So Z and Sheeb, you can send she here and then you can go to Sushi Swap. That's going to be another video we make. But anyway, I'm going to buy some Z or the, the family. It's going to have some Z and also probably get into this climate dial. But let's go back to 
that. So now if you don't <clears throat> have the Polygon network in your MetaMask when you first start, and you won't, because you won't, when you go here, it will say raw net, switch to main net, and you'll say yes. And then it'll ask you questions here and just keep saying yes till you get there. So you already, it already, I already have it set up, but if I didn't have it set up, it will set it up for me. That's why I'm telling you the easiest way to have the Polygon network set up is just to go to this, what the climate website. And when you go in here, it'll say, hey, you want to set up the main net? And you say yes. It had a test net at first and individuals were able to earn and get airdrops of this for free. And you see now, or close to free, and you see now it's 2000 per. So people are getting paid off this. So anyway, once we buy some, I'll come here. I'll put some money or, or have some money transferred here into the Polygon network. I'll uh, go. I'll do a video showing that when it's when I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go into it now. But anyway, you 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 get some Klima from um, Sushi Swap or Uniswap, and then when you stake it, it becomes S Klima. And every eight hours, you get paid point zero five point. <laughs> it's, it's crazy to say zero point four zero point five four percent every eight hours. So your return of interest in five days would be 8% of your money. If you put $10,000 in here, in eight days, you'll have $800. And in a year, you have 35. And now this goes ups and downs, just ups and downs, ups and downs, I would say. This, go, this will go up and down on a daily basis, not always this. And it may go down to 8,000 or so. So it's something you have to... Oh, okay, you can improve. Oh, I, I can't. I don't have any money in this wallet yet. Got to put some some um, Ethereum and some Poly and some Matic in this wallet to do some work with it. But look it up. Start looking this up. See if, what you think about it. Um, so, the, you know, the, you see the, 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 the ideas that they're buying this, this carbon. I was telling my friends, like the Fort Knox. Fort Knox is not selling gold. It's not getting interest on gold. But everybody knows Fort Knox is super valuable. And this is kind of what this climate treasury is being, is sucking up these carbon credits to hold. The only sale, if necessary, to bolster the price of um, climate, if necessary. But it also has other, go into the app. When you go to bond carbon, <clears throat> you can bond these other things as well. Or these base carbon, you can uh, buy um, these bonds, which allow you to buy and that's a whole other when you talk about it. So you can stake Clima, buy Clima on a, a secondary market and stake it itself. Or you can buy these bonds, which give you Clima at a reduced price because you're buying a bond of it with the carbon. And you, you know, get a lower APR on your money. But, you, you know, you buy it for a cheaper price. So <clears throat> Sushi Swap LP bonds, you see all of this. So you can buy these liquidity provider bonds and stake them. So the best way to buy Clima, commit carbon to our treasury and receive Clima at a discount. All bonds have a mandatory five-day vesting period. So you can't buy and sell them, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm swing trading them on a day-to-day -day basis. You when, you when you buy, you vest it for five days before you can sell. And a lot of this stuff, it makes more sense to hold long-term. But eventually, and the main idea why you do this is that once you have, like, you know, whatever your number is, this is passive income. So say you have five climber in right so you get to a point where you're lucky enough to have five climb in that five climb is equivalent to about ten thousand almost you know almost eleven thousand dollars right that eleven thousand dollars would pay you about probably five five and a half thousand a month in interest now you can let it just compound it compounds itself you don't touch it every eight hours. But if you did say, I didn't want it to compound or you want to do something different. Once it get to a certain number, say you can just divide it almost in half with the, the current way it's set up now, almost in half. Say you got 20,000 in every 10, every month you had $10,000 in interest that it makes. So once you get to that $20,000 number, you know, you can say, all right, and, and that number for you may be a hundred thousand. It gets to a hundred thousand every day, or every month, you pull out 50000 as your payment, and then it still have 100000 the next month. You'll have 150 again. Take your fifty out. That's crazy, right? 
Exactly. So that's why I said, do your research. None of this is any advice of anything. Look for holes in this. Try to figure out holes for it because I am. <laughs> but I'm going to do little bits of a time and, and see nothing. I'm not, you know, I'm not willing to, to walk away from or lose 100 percent of because, you know. In the world that I was told this stuff like this doesn't exist. But maybe it should. And with that said, I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.